Assalamu alaikum. Greetings and welcome back. Yesterday I released this video which I recorded the day before uh, on how to remove your personal information from a Word file. This is the video. Actually, it's already uploaded on YouTube. It says how to remove personal information from Microsoft Word document. Today there is an update on the comments part, the comments within Microsoft Word documents. This is how it looked like yesterday, you see how the comments are. So there is a line, dotted line that takes you from wherever the word that you highlighted and takes you all the way to the comment. Of course, within Word, you were able to also reply or respond or delete these uh, comments. This is the case yesterday, up to yesterday. And then Microsoft released a new uh, update only for the comments. So they call them modern comments in Word. And this update has come to Word for Microsoft 365, which I'm using now. And it's also for Word for the web. Other platform like in Mac and other um, platform is coming also soon to it. And these comments are going to be there for all other Office apps. And um, it's just a matter of time. What's new with these comments? These comments, uh, this is the point of this video. I'm going to show you what's up, what's the updated, uh, what has been updated in the comment section because it's very important and it's going to change the way you handle comments in Microsoft Word. Again, especially for instructors or uh, people who are reviewing reports or documents, they really need to, to understand because it took me a while to, to get it. it. It's not as the old one. Uh, which was fine up to yesterday. So let's open a Word document, um, a new Word document. Let's say this this Word document. So I'm going to move the screen here. So you know probably that if you could, you say you generate random text, rand parentheses, this will generate random text just for the sake of experimenting. You can now see there is a comments tab here that wasn't there before. Um, so if I want to insert a comment here, the for documents, you can also right click. And at the end here, you also see new comments. So you can add a comment this way. Okay. You can also go here, highlight this one and comment ban will be open and say comment here. That's another way to do it. Uh, of course, you can always go the usual way, which is you go to the review tab and add new comments. So this is how you add comments. Now, what's, uh, what's the new uh, beside this uh, new pan here? You can see it on the right side. It's already there and it has all the all the comments will be there. So let's say I have a comment on this document, the, the, the old way. You don't see a line anymore. There's no dotted line there. Let's say this is a comment. Okay. So uh, that's it. Usually I click enter and I get uh, a new uh, line, uh, usually I like send the comments and then I'm done. Uh, but no, that's not how it is. So I left it. So I thought, okay, let's move on. Okay. So um, I, I go to another word here. Before I used to do that, just click enter and then you're done, right? Then you go to another comment here and you wanted to also comment on this one. Remember, I did not send this one yet. This is the difference now. And I, I actually commented on this one. See, it takes me back here to the same comment. It does not create new comment as before. And that was confusing because this is just a one word uh, page. But uh, even if you have a uh, few pages and say you forgot about that first one and then you just go a new comment, it takes you back to the same old comment until you post it. So you have to post it. How do you post it? Now there's an extra step. It used to be enter and done. Now, no, you have to click on this arrow. There you go. Now it's posted. Now you can create a new comment for a second page. So here you can have a new comment again, which is going to be different. And this is a new comment. So you comment a new comment. You can also do instead of clicking on this arrow, you can do control enter. And as you can see, it's also posted. Now you can what you can do, you can go here and you can edit this comment. Right. You can also delete it. You can resolve it. And so when you cooperate in more than one document, the team can resolve a comment. So this is, that's it. This is resolved. So it's done. 
you can see it's grayed out. This is still active, but you can click here and reopen it again. So it's active again. Somebody, you or somebody who's reviewing this document will do that. If it's done, you just go resolve it. This is actually interesting in a way. The only thing is, you know, it's just um, all the comments in one side, which is good. I mean, it's very, very clear. But, uh, you know, it's very confusing, especially if you have so many comments and it doesn't, as you can see the icon here, right? It doesn't link it to a particular word or an area, but it's still highlighted. So if I go here, you you see it's highlighted, right? You can see it highlighted. That's it. Of course, you can read the comments from here on top. You can see it like uh, if you if you just put the mouse over the word, you can see what who commented and when and what are the comments without having to go back here. But if you want to respond to a comment, so you can re reply to it here. And uh, and that's it. And you also send your reply. You can see the reply is, is unnested. So, so you can actually reply to a reply too. So, um, no, you could not reply to a reply. So you can reply to the original comment. So that's basically it. This is what's going on here. And so more than one person can reply. You can delete. You can, of course, um, edit this document. Say the say comment is gone. Now it's now it is um, clear. So this is basically it. So what has just in, to to sum this up? What has changed is the comments in Microsoft Word, and these comments now are on their own pan, as you can see here, which you can hide if you click here. It is hidden now. But you can have it arranged neatly here. Okay. Uh, you can resize or close this one as much as you want. You can move it, you know, like uh, like we do with all bands. So it's not like a big deal. But you can resize it to make room for your, especially if you have a small monitor. So it's here. You can also have the same old style, which is going to go uh, one by one. Like here. So this is the way uh, you do your comments. And uh, this is resolved, so you don't see it. That's why it's not there. Remember, we resolved this one, but this is not resolved. So if we resolve this one, now it's gone. Where are the comments? The comments are here, but they have been resolved. If you want to click here to see them, or you click here, I'm sorry, or you click on the comment pan, you still see them because they are resolved. You don't see them anymore. Okay, you can, of course, um, go back and reopen them, reactivate them. So you can see them even when your pen is closed. You can see it here. I can activate this one as well. There you go. So now if I close the pen, I still be able to see it the old way, except that it's not connected with the line to where you want it to be. Um, it used to be easy to move it around, not anymore. So there, this is the change and actually it's a, I don't know, I have mixed feeling about the change. At first, at the beginning, I was confused. And also the extra step of having uh, to do um, this, uh, you know, send button or control D to send your comment is also additional step that I had to learn. But, uh, you know, as with all the change that happens everywhere, you, it's just a matter of time until you get used to it. That's, basi that's basically it. That's what I wanted to update you on this uh, word because I just released the one and I thought you would be confused if you see the comments there and yesterday and the comments today. So uh, here is an update. You never know what Microsoft 365 will bring on in next. Thank you very much for, uh, for following and watching and I hope you subscribe, like uh, or comment on this video if you if your experience is better than mine, I'm still struggling with this system to get used to it. But this is what we have and we have to live with it. Take good care and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.